Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a bleached silhouette t-shirt sort of thing. Um, I have a few examples, so I'm going to have to pick up the camera to show those. Um, but it's really simple, and you're going to need a spray bottle, some tape, and a t-shirt. Um, I got mine from Forever 21. I usually get the dark colored ones. Um, but you can get whatever color you want. Uh, the ones at Forever 21 are really cheap, so I just get those. Okay, so, um, this is one of the shirts that I made. Uh, it's a silhouette of Link from Wind Waker. And the one I'm going to be doing today is Umbreon. So I'm going to be trying to show the steps as best as I can. So, um, one of the first things you're going to want to do is get a spray bottle. And as I explained in my previous update video, I couldn't really find one, um, or I couldn't find the one that I normally use, so I just dumped an old perfume that I had and I decided to use that. So uh, you're going to want to cut out a silhouette, um, make sure that you have it, it's going to maybe take up a page of paper or so, um, just do your best. Uh, you don't need to, when you're cutting out your silhouette, you don't need to cut it out perfectly because the bleach is going to seep a little bit. So try not to do anything that's too tiny. Um, you can see that there's a lot of white space here. So I'm doing Umbreon. And keep in mind that since it's a silhouette, you're not going to see anything that's on the inside of it. So if you want something to have a facial expression, um, it's probably just going to be a blank image. And another thing that you can do is, as you can see, it looks kind of weird because its tail is missing and its ears are missing. So what I've done is I've cut them out. And I'm going to, um, I cut out the spaces in between them, so that way the bleach will go through those. So, uh, you're going to want to tape your thing on. Uh, don't tape it down too much. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to focus the camera. And, uh, this part isn't very interesting, but you're going to just start off by taping down the picture. Don't put any tape over the cutouts. And the tape is just here, you know, to keep the image down because when you're spraying, you don't want the uh, thing to go up and then ruin your image. So I'm just putting it on its ears. Um, I really love doing this idea. I got the idea off of Pinterest, and I don't know if there's a YouTube video for it. I didn't check, but um, if there is, you can maybe find it in better quality. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just really really like this idea and I have a ton of t-shirts like this okay so you don't need a ton of tape like I'm putting down just a few pieces but better safe than sorry and one thing that you should note when you're sticking down your image um, again this doesn't need to be like perfectly done or taped or anything um, make sure your t-shirt first of all is completely um, straightened out there's no creases or anything like that and then also, uh, you might not want to lay it down here. I'm going to show you where I'm putting it and then, yeah, okay. So you might not want to lay it down completely in the middle. I put mine sort of towards the side um, because I don't want the image to be straight in the middle of the shirt. I don't know why. I just like the look of having it towards the side. And you can see here are the other pieces. So I'm going to use those to measure out where its ears and stuff are going to go ears and such okay so don't and also don't put it too much to the side like I just did uh, let's see how this goes <laughs> okay so I'm going to take the little circle thingies and put those in the middle um, I actually am going to take those down just use tiny pieces of tape. Since the pieces are so small here, you're going to want to make sure that you're not going too much over the edge. And obviously, you don't need to use Umbreon. If you have a specific interest, use that. I just always have done video game things because video game t-shirts are expensive. But that's besides the point. <laughs> um, I'm just taking really, really small pieces of tape, ripping them in half and then folding them over on themselves so that way I can stick these to the shirt. And again, this just creates a gap so that way the shirt has more uh, depth. If you want to do something like a face, just, again, like I said, uh, it probably won't have any expression unless you cut it out. Don't do a complicated image. Um, 
it, one pro tip is if you're not sure about how the silhouette's gonna look, just flip it over, like once you're done cutting it out, and then you can see how that looks. So I'm just sticking this on its forehead, and I'm gonna try and pick up the camera while I'm spraying it um, a bit, just so you can see. I'm making this look a lot more complicated than it actually is. Okay, so uh, the spray solution is about 50% bleach and 50% water. Those aren't exact measurements or whatever, but um, just eyeball it. And don't do straight bleach and don't do straight water, obviously. I don't know why you would do straight water. <laughs> I don't even know why I have to say that. Okay, so um, another thing is don't worry about the quality of the image. You're just doing a general thing. This one was a tiny image and I just ended up completely blowing it up. and It just like took up a whole screen. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the camera again in a second once everything's laid out, and then you can see how it's going to be done. Do, do, do. Probably should have taped some of these ahead of time. That's okay. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> okay, so that's there, that's there. Uh. I apologize for this taking so long. And then just the tail. Almost done. I don't even know how well this is picking. Oh, that's not even on camera. I apologize. I'm just right now putting on the tail of Umbreon. Again, I should have done some of this ahead of time, but don't even worry about it. Okay, so again, the thing, the t-shirt is completely flat. And I kept some of the white pieces as um, indicators of where I should space them, so that's another tip. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the camera. If you can see, I have the image laid out, and the tail looks really distorted right now. But um, the next thing you're going to want to do is take the bleach and spray it on the shirt. And don't spray it completely, just spray it on the general area. So I'm going to do some of that right now. Um, make sure the solution is a bit mixed up. And then you're just going to... I'm going to try and get as much of this in camera as I can. Spray it on the shirt. Like I said, make sure the shirt is flat. Don't saturate it insanely. And you can almost instantly see it working. Um, don't saturate the image too much, like I just said, or else it will start to bleed through. But this is, if you can see some of the orange, or some of the bleach is already starting to work. Um, don't spray it in an insane amount. Uh, and you might want to put some sort of cardboard under your image, and you're going to want to let this sit for about a minute or two, and then once you take that off, you will have your shirt. And, yeah. So I'm glad I could finally put up this DIY. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.